Good morning from Portugal. Mm. Having a little breakfast here. Look at these guys. Look at that little cup of coffee. to Castle de George today. The castle sits way up top there. Can't see it's pretty far off but uh, I think there's this little tram thing that'll take me up there. And then I'm jumping on a train to Faro, or Faro, Faro, uh, the southernmost part of Portugal. Check that out. Should be uh, some beaches and the oceans right there so Maybe I'll even get in the water, do a little swimming. This is kind of a cool little cafe. There's a bunch of these just off the street. And you can just sit here and eat. And uh, just kind of, I just point to the pictures of what I uh, what I want to eat. Because it was all in Portuguese. But uh, got a little, everybody drinks these tiny little cups of coffee. This, this was called a double coffee. It's like super strong, but I don't know really strong. We'll see you at the castle. That's probably the coolest looking building I've seen so far with those big uh, round windows and all that. It's really uh, Pretty spectacular. You come around this corner and you squat, you see that building. So, Kind of a cool street. All right, so I got the scoop on how to get to Faro. There's a train. It leaves at 5:32, and I think it's about two and a half, three hours. So that'll put me there about 8:30 or so, and uh, which isn't too bad. That should give me time to find this castle. Look around a little bit. I get to this train station called the Orient. There's a few different ways to get there. You can take a bus, and that'd only be about a buck fifty euro. Or I could take a taxi. Pretty cool, huh? Or I could take a taxi and that'd be about 15 euro. Huh. Never been in this part of the town. So, let's we'll see. There's the castle, way up yonder there. Some skateboard. Sometimes the river would come all the way up here, so there would be boats in this area. The biggest one, of course, is by the river, the Commerce Square. Yeah. But this would be uh, one of the main ones. You didn't think I was going to walk all that way, did you? carrying like a 50 pound backpack. Of course I'm gonna take a ride up there.
where's where uh where the ship used to sail off in the Discovery Age. Yeah. To the right, you're gonna see this is the main cobblestone street to Albushta. You're gonna see the triumphal arch of Albushta. This would be the door to the city for kings and queens coming to home by, by ship. That guy was nuts, but he was like an encyclopedia of uh, the history of Portugal and Lisbon. He just knew everything about this place. Unbelievable. So walking up to the castle now, and hopefully I don't fall over with this heavy backpack. I got to carry this backpack around all day because uh, I couldn't leave it in my. Uh, apartment because I had to check out so I'm carrying this thing now don't know if I'm gonna make it I made it to the castle castle de George meets Jason this is beautiful, man. Look at this. Wait till you see the skyline over here. Woo! Look at that. Wow. That's the Tagus River. I went down there my first day and was walking around a little bit. course every castle needs a cannon how cool is that wow that's where I'm trying to get to up there just can't seem to find the stairs yet I will. Nothing stops Diego, the explorer. I will make it to the top of Castle de George, even with this heavy backpack. somewhere look at this how cool that is back there and of course every castle has a statue of naked butts
so. right out here well i think that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna sign off i gotta uh find my way back to town catch a cab to catch that train to get to faro so thanks for sticking with me today it's always a pleasure and an adventure Takes your breath away up here. Okay, till next time. Three, two, one. Salute. The sprinkler going on down there. Peace out. If I can find this button.